This is day two with the Cornish Cross Broilers. Now these chicks grow extremely fast. Remember in about eight weeks we're going to have birds that we can process for meat. So we did not like keeping them in a traditional brooder. They were very dirty, very smelly, and it was just way, way too much. So we have kind of transitioned our outdoor chicken coop into a brooder we've divided it in half and we've done some things to kind of keep the wind off of them um, we are expecting a freeze this weekend so we are going to need to fortify them some more the second time when we got them I spot checked a few of them they weighed about two ounces each so we're eager to see how much they've grown all right here's the first one. Oh, nine <gasps> nine point two Whoa! Nope. Nope. Sit still. 9.2. 9.2. 7 ounces. So they gained 7 ounces in a little more than 10 days. So we did check the dates. They are 11 days old. They were, they hatched on, remember the date? Tuesday. They hatched on Tuesday, March 8th, and we received them the following Thursday. So let's find another one to wear. Do you see another one? They've had a really big day. We redid their whole pen and they've been flying around and, or I should say, flapping their wings around. So now they're getting tired. Here's another one. Looks like a little bit of a porker. There's a Ziploc bag on the scale, and that's why they're slipping. It's all right. 9.7. This one looks a little small. Let's see. So I think this is probably the smallest one we've laid. You've got a lot of growing to do, Missy. Get on it. All right. Well, that's just a sampling of week one's weigh-in, and I can't wait to see how much they grow next week. So to give you a little tour, I'm in the furthest corner of this pen, and they have a pretty good size dimension. Our plan is when they get a little bit bigger, they're going to start going outside. Now they ha do have two feeders and two waterers. Um, last night they completely drained one full waterer um, and didn't touch the other one. So we've put them really even. So hopefully when one runs out, they'll be smart enough to try the second one. Um, we also have two feeders in here with the grain. They're going to start their new feeding regimen today. Um, up until this point, they've had free grain 24 hours a day, but starting today, they're going to go on their 12 hours on, 12 hours off feeding regiment. So right now, they have free access to grain, and this evening, we'll take it away, and they'll have to wait till morning to have more food.
He's right here in this corner. He's taking a little sand bath. And that's how chickens um, bathe themselves. They kick dirt up underneath their feathers and that helps to clean them. It's called a sand bath. Let's see, you can see how dirty he is because he's really enjoying it. Let's see if he'll do it again. There he goes. You can see him. He's kicking the dirt right up underneath of his wings and on his back. I think that might be a girl with that little pink head. We're not sure what the pink stands for. There it goes. And the diatomaceous earth will also help with any pests that might be in the leaves or the dirt to help with any mite issues. There he goes. Taking a leisurely bath over there. Got a few little joiners. You can see them kicking those, kicking up underneath their wings. There we go. Barbara Sue at Kowalski Mountain, and today is our third week uh, update on the weight. The chicks were actually hatched on March 8th, so today is actually, they're actually 18 days old. And we do the weigh-in on Saturday just because it's easier uh, with my work schedule. And I can't wait to see what they weigh, so let's check it out. So you can see the little guys, they're feathering out really well. Um, their wings are mostly feathered. They're starting to get their tail feathers. And you can just tell just by looking at this how much they've grown since we got them. Let's see what he wins. All right, here we go. This one weighs one pound, 2.3 ounces. So this one does have a little pink on its head. We don't know if the pink means that they're females or males. Um, some of them had pink on them, some don't. We don't know their marking system. Um, but this one, they, they weighed two ounces when we got them. So over a pound growth. I picked this one because it looks a little bit smaller. I'm not sure that it is. This one's feathered really well. Wings are feathered out really nicely. It's got little tail feathers. They're looking adorable. Um, I think this one has pink as well. Let's see what it weighs. This one is still under a pound, 14.3 ounces, um, but still 12 ounces of growth since we got them. The big one I weighed was over a pound. Nice. Let's see. Definitely visibly bigger. Nice. nice to see they have a lot more feathers on them. Ooh, this is the biggest one yet. 1.34 pounds. This is the biggest one so far. So just to give you an update for what I did for uh, care today. <clears throat> I work full time and Joy is helping me with this project. We're partnering with it. And so she's home during the day. So um, she takes the first feeding of the morning. She puts their feeders down. Um, and then she kind of cleans up in the cage um, when it needs it and tries to keep it clean during the week. Um, she also keeps the waterers filled during the day. Um, they have two one-gallon feeders, and then we have a little quart one. Um, by noon, two gallons of water will be completely gone. We have a five-gallon water jug, but it's in Kentucky, and <clears throat> so we need to do something else because as they grow, the two small water dish is not going to be enough. Um, on Saturday today, I completely cleaned all this out. Um, I removed all the leaves. And then I put fresh leaves. I just pull these from the woods. I put them in here. And then I sprinkled it with a dusting of diatomaceous earth. 
diatomaceous earth will help with any bugs or mite issues that are in the leaves that I'm bringing in and really kind of help the birds out with that. Um, the birds are on a 12 hours on, 12 hours off feeding regimen. They started that last week. So they have the food all day long and then we take it away in the evening and they go 12 hours without food. And they think they're starving. But these birds, they're bred to grow. And that means they eat and they won't stop. They will just eat and eat and eat. So we do kind of monitor that and control how much they eat. Well, I think that's it for this week's update. You'll get another update pretty soon. I don't know if you noticed that one stretching its legs. These birds stretch their legs a lot. I honestly wonder if they get growing pains like we did as children because they constantly are stretching their little legs. Time to do the official weigh-in for the week. This is our third official weigh-in past the first day we um, got them. So we weighed them the day we got them. That was two ounces. That just gave us the baseline. But this is the third official weigh-in of the week. We are actually one day late. Today is Sunday, not Saturday, uh, because it was storming really badly yesterday. So I'm eager to see what they weigh in at. Now you can see they're fully feathered at this point. They've got their wings are feathered nicely. They've got their tails. They look really good. They do have some bald spots here on their bellies, but that's normal. Let's see what this one weighs. one pound 14.6 ounces so this one might be one of our smaller ones we'll see one pound 14.6 ounces let's see Well, this volunteer does not look excited about the job. Let's see how much it weighs. One pound, 12.6 ounces. Here's another one that looks like a rooster. Five zero. So some changes we made this week. Um, we've raked out all the leaves and we're down to just the sand. Um, it's getting way too messy in here. Um, we did try to put them out in the yard this week. Um, that did not go well. Um, a hawk actually came in and tried to take one of our broilers. Thankfully, the dogs alerted Joy to the problem and she came running and we did get the chick back. Um, he had some uh, superficial puncture wounds, um, but with some medication, he healed well and is back in the cage with everyone else. So we're still at 49 broilers. Um, today, we are going to be putting out some bird netting so that the birds can go outside into the large part of the coop. Um, these birds are so slow. Um, they have zero protection from predators. We have to protect them from predators, be it raccoons, um, the hawks, uh, possums. Um, they will still always be in the cage at night to protect them from predators. All right, thanks for watching, friends.
Hey friends, it's Barbara Sue and this is the fifth official weigh-in week of the broilers. Remember they were born on March 8th and today is the fifth official weigh-in. So let's see how they're doing. They're really growing. You can see how much they, they've grown. This one looks feathered pretty good. It's got that bald belly, which is pretty normal for these birds. Still got quite a bit of fluff to remind us this is still a baby. Let's see how uh, he or she weighs in. Three pounds, 23 ounces, which is what I expected to see over three pounds this week. I don't really like them to jump because it's hard on their legs, but they're still kind of small, so they still do a little jumping. Let's weigh another one. Here we go. This one looks pretty large. Um, not sure if it's going to be the largest we've seen. Let's find out. Three pounds, eight. Three pounds, 8.1 ounces. It's fluctuating with this moving. It's 3.81, it was going up to like 3.85, but it was settling back down. This one definitely looks like a small one. Let's check it out. Two pounds, 10.7 ounces. Really hard to see it in the sunlight. Still a respectable chicken. Keep growing. Okay, so what have we done different this week? Um, this week the broilers have had more time outside. We got all the bird netting up last weekend, so they've got to come out and spend some time outside. They still have access to their coop, which they go into whenever they want to. They have food and water in there as well. Um, we did move the food outside um, to encourage them to come outside. Um, our, more, our regular routine is Joy, who is my mother-in-law. She's partnering with us on this project. She takes care of the chickens in the morning. She gives them their food and their water and she lets them out. Um, and then she also checks on them throughout the day, gives them whatever they might need throughout the daytime. Um, in the evening, I come in um, and I clean and fill all the waters and make sure they have food for the evening, which they always do, because Joy makes sure that's filled. And um, then in the evenings, we put them away. Either one of us will put them away. If I come out here and they're all in, I go ahead and shut the door. Um, and then probably around between eight and 10, I take their feed away. Um, Joy feeds them a little bit later in the morning and I never know exactly when that is. So I give them till between eight and 10 to get their full 12 hours of feeding. And then I put the feed up at night. And we hang that in the coop. Um, so it's still in there, but it's up high. Predators can't get into it and the chickens can't get into it. This is what we're feeding the broilers. This is 30% protein a game bird crumbles. Um, we really prefer a pelleted chicken grain, but this only comes in crumbles. So today is Saturday and on this coming Tuesday, they will officially be five weeks old. So we are at like four and a half weeks old. They just finished their sixth bag of grain. We will open the seventh bag today. This is a 40 pound bag of grain. And we're talking six bags of grain for these birds that are only a little over four weeks old. Now we do have 49 still. Um, so there is a lot of them, but that is a lot of grain for these birds. Now we did buy it in bulk. Um, we bought a minimum of 20 bags that helped us save a little bit of money, um, which is why we have so much of it. 
Um, but I will give you totals at the end of exactly how much grain these birds ate. Well, that's it for this week's update. Um, we'll see you next week and see how they're growing. One thing to note here is that we hang their feeders high or place them on high pedestals to make them stand up. They will literally just lay right there and eat to their little heart's content. So we make them stand up for it. I got all 49 outside. You can see they've got plenty of space nice big yard to stretch out not be so messy plenty of places to eat and drink I'm really pleased with how they're growing now I mentioned to you that we hang their feeders at night and it's about eight o'clock I've come out to hang them up they're just hung on 550 cord with the little clips so we can easily lift them up and down. They do actually have feed in them. Um, these types of feeders have little hooks that hold the feeding tray. I make sure those are secured every time. I wouldn't want them to fall on the broilers. But we've had no problems with this. Um, they're out of reach of rats. Um, if there were to be any rats out here, um, which is always a possibility um, and also the chickens do not have them for their 12 hours of fasting now we've brought in a second light it's supposed to be cold this evening about 41 degrees so we've given them some extra heat lamp so that everybody can be nice and toasty good night little broilers Hey friends, it's Barbara Sue at Kowalski Mountain and this is our six week update on the broiler chickens. They are a little over five weeks old, um, five weeks and two days. We normally do our weigh in on Saturday, but Philip and I are leaving for the homestead at Kowalski Mountain tonight. So I'm going to do the video before we leave because I don't want to miss a weigh in. So we are one day early and the broilers are five weeks and two days old um, is their official date this is our sixth weigh-in so let's see how much they weigh and it looks like i have a volunteer right here oh wow <laughs> wow they are starting to get heavy you can really really feel the weight So this little guy, they're still feathering in. He's got some uh, interesting little pin feathers going on there. Um, this looks like a rooster is gonna be my guess on that. They are really getting some bulk. Let's see how much he weighs. to get the big scale out. So he weighs five pounds, 4.4 ounces. Five pounds, 4.4 ounces. That's a huge increase from last week. I think over two pounds. We're gonna have to check that out. Now I picked this one out because this one looks a little smaller. Okay, this is better. She must have stepped on something. She's at three pounds, 8.4 ounces. So definitely one of the smaller birds. Here's another big one. Uh, this one looks like a rooster, feels really heavy. Seven point six ounces. 
five pounds, 7.6 ounces. That is crazy growth. Really big birds. All right, so, all chickeny now. So what's been going on this week? So this week we're having some problems with flies. Um, they, their pen stays somewhat wet around their water dish where they're spilling water. They drink constantly. Um, we have the big water that is seven gallons. We have two one gallons. Um, and then they have two other miscellaneous waters. So they have access to over nine gallons of water a day. We fill that more than once a day. These 49 birds are going through tons of water. We are having the fly issue. Um, so we're trying to dry that out. We put some diatomaceous earth and also some lime in there. We turned it under and raked it in and trying to get that under control. Um, they are going through grain a bag almost every other day. Some days every day they go through a whole bag. So remember there's 49 birds in here going through tons of grain. Those are 40 pound bags. Um, we did open up the cage a little bit for some ventilation. Um, if you noticed before, we had lots of um, wind blocks to keep them warm. We opened that up to let some airflow in there and hopefully will help with the pen drying out and get these flies under control. Well friends, that is the week six update. Philip and I are on our way to Kowalski Mountain tonight. We're taking bees with us so we can't go until it's after dark, but we will um, be headed up there for the week. Philip's mom, Joy, she's partnering with us in this project and she is gonna be taking care of the broilers all week. I will give you another weight update. Today we did a day early, next week it'll be a day late. But we will miss a weigh-in. We'll see you next week. You can see we've opened up this cage. We've opened up that for some ventilation. We've opened up this for ventilation. And then also behind me is all open now. Of course, there's still wire there to protect them, but now the air can come through and dry this out a little bit better. Alrighty friends, today is the sixth weigh-in of the Cornish Crush Broilers. And this weigh-in is actually a bit longer in time span. So we just got back from the spring workation and when we weighed the last way that you saw, um, we weighed them one day early. We weighed them on a Friday rather than a Saturday. Because of the spring workation, we were gone an extended amount of time, and I was just too tired to weigh them yesterday. So today is Tuesday, and it's been 12 days since the last weigh-in. So I know that that's not a really good measurement tool, but I want to weigh them because I want to know what they weigh. So we're going to go ahead and do it anyway and get back on schedule on Saturday. So I have a volunteer right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Got a nice hen right here and I can tell that she's a big one. <laughs> she is a lot to hold on to. Now I've pulled out the big scale. Oops. I've pulled out the big scale because she'll be able to stand on this a lot easier. So we're gonna stand her on here. And she weighs 6.82 pounds, which the big bird of the week at our last weigh-in was over five pounds. So we're looking at uh, almost two pounds probably on her. Here's another big guy. Oh. 8.86 pounds. 8.86, almost. Yes. Oh, cool. yes. Now one factor is that we are using a different scale. I changed scales um, just because they can stand on this a lot easier and it's uh, easier for them. Um, that could be a small factor in the weight difference. Um, the weights being, the scales weighing differently, but we're gonna forgive that little factor.
No, no jump. 6.70. All right, so what happened this week? So Philip and I were gone, so that means Joy took care of the chickens exclusively and did a beautiful job. She has had really good success with the issue with the flies. So what she did was she um, put them out in the morning, made them come out here into the yard, and she shut the coop off. And so they had no access to the coop. And so she cleaned that and take care of it in there. And then she'd let her, um, her regular chickens, she'd let them come in and forage around and dig up the soil in the coop and that has really helped with the fly problem so that is very encouraging so they are eating about remember there's 49 chickens in here um, they're eating about one bag a day except for two days where they did not eat that much but that's 40 pounds of grain a day for 49 chickens we have scheduled our butchering day for may 14th which is two weeks from this coming Saturday. So it's a little more than two weeks away. Um, we've talked about butchering some of the larger ones earlier, um, but we haven't made a decision on that. Um, one of the things with Cornish cross broilers is that these birds will literally die if they're not butchered timely. Um, they are prone to problems with their legs and also problems with their hearts and um, lungs I, can, I think it's their hearts and lungs so um, we don't we don't want to lose chickens uh, because we let them get too heavy um, and so that's a factor that we're considering um, so far we've only had one loss of a chick and that was right at the very beginning a 10% loss is common with this breed and so I'm thrilled to say that we have never had numbers quite that high with losses so we will update you again in just a few days on Saturday to let you know the bird of the week. Hello friends, it's Barbara Sue and it's time for the weekly weigh-in. And you know what? I'm not even going to try to guess which week we are because I'm pretty sure I've gotten some of them wrong along the way. So I'll put on the screen the number of the weigh-in that we're in for today. Now today is our regular weigh-in day and the last weigh-in that we did was on a Tuesday. So this is a short week. Um, we're just going to have Wednesday through Saturday, but I want to get back on track. Now, the chicks, uh, the broilers hatched on March 8th, and today is April 30th. So we are very close to our butchering day. Now, we originally scheduled butchering day for May 14th, which is still two weeks away. And these birds have grown very fast, and they're very large. And honestly, I'm starting to worry about some of them um, just because they're getting so big and they can become more fragile. So we are looking at moving um, butchering day to next Saturday for half of them, doing the larger birds and then doing the following birds the next weekend because 49 birds in one weekend is quite a lot of butchering. And just to make it easier on ourselves, we're gonna break it in half. So let's see how they're doing and see how much they've grown. Nice big rooster. 10 pounds, 10.34 pounds. This is huge and we're going to give him another week. He's a really big bird. Um, he looks great and I'm really happy with these birds. <laughs> big difference between a hen and a rooster. She weighs 
six, eight pounds. So she'll definitely be in the group that will get an extra week of growth, but she's still a beautiful bird and she looks great. And I added a piece of cardboard to my scale this week because they were slipping so much and you can see it's really helping them. He's 10.34 pounds. I picked this one because she looks a little smaller. 6.38, she'll definitely get two weeks. I disrupted all of them to get her too. She was as far away from me as she could get. All right, so keep in mind those differences um, that you've seen today from um, was from Tuesday. So that's not even a whole week. And we've got two pounds growth on some of these birds. So they are growing so much. I've been so pleased with the broilers this year. They've done great. We only lost the one, which I'm thrilled with. Um, and the nice thing about this project is it's a short-term project. We're going to raise more than a year's worth of meat for us. Now, Philip and I are empty nesters, so only the two of us. But this is going to be more than a year's worth of meat for the two of us. Now, uh, 29 of them are ours and 20 belong to Joy. Um, we partnered with her all year for this project and I'm just so pleased with it. They're doing great. So this week they're eating about a bag of grain a day. Not always, uh, like today, probably not, but um, every day this week they have, that's 40 pounds of grain for 49 birds. So they're eating, you know, just under a pound of grain each bird. Um, and um, not any really big changes this week. Um, we just keep them clean. Um, we rake it out every day, a couple times a day. Keep it clean. We're still having issues with flies out here. We got the issue with the flies in the coop taken care of. That worked really well. Um, but we can't let the other chickens in here to help with the spilt grain because they would, you know, eat it. Um, another great weigh-in and just probably two more, one before weigh-in, one weigh-in before butcher day, because we'll weigh every one before we butcher, at least the ones we're planning to butcher, and then we'll weigh them again when we weigh them out. So, thanks for watching. Whoops. <laughs> Hey friends, it's Barbara Sue. So today is going to be the last official weigh-in of our broiler chickens. And uh, we're gonna weigh them uh, before butchering day tomorrow. Processing day is tomorrow and we will be doing that. We like to give our broilers a bath the night before so they're as clean as possible for butchering day. Now they will get a little messy overnight, but um, they are, will be cleaner than if we didn't give them a bath. So today is weigh-in and bath day, and you're going to come along. Ten oh six. Okay friends, it is the last week of the broiler weigh-in. Today we're going to weigh the last 18 chickens 
Most of these are hens with a couple of roosters. They are nine weeks and I think four days old um, of their total age. And so let's see how much these ladies weigh. They just couldn't run as fast. <laughs> Eight four eight ounces. You had yucky stuff under your belt or under your front end here. Another one. I'm not doing anything. I'm being squeezing. Ten point seven zero. So, rooster, so handsome. Let's see if you weigh as much as those big ladies. <laughs> Ten, no, eleven point zero two. You didn't disappoint there, buddy. Eleven point four two. Alrighty. Well, friends, that's the end of our chicken weigh-ins. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and help us get to 1,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching, friends.